Yes, good people, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing some more work on the T4. I went on a trip last week to Wales. I didn't record it because I just wanted to sort of just get on with it, enjoy myself. Uh, I went to watch Liam Gallagher in Cardiff. We stayed in South Wales overnight. And then we got a push cat. Then we headed down to Cheddar Gorge, stayed there for a, another night. And just sort of, you know, checking out what we need for the van, what works, what don't. So we've got a double bed set up in there, that was perfect. So this van at the minute, it's like a day van, a camper, and you know, tip runs, that kind of thing. So I need need it to be usable as a normal van. And one thing we did need was electricity. So I've got a leisure battery. I bought this last year for a previous build. It's a 110 amp hour, quite a a hefty battery I think I paid about 90 quid for that if I remember rightly uh, just bought this split charge relay kit this is a five meter kit bought this off eBay for 41 pound and it's all pre-wired as well so it saves a lot of messing around you got everything you need in the kit you got fuses you got the connectors for the battery with the quick release connectors there's all sorts in there it's got a manual in there but we should be okay I've got this control panel which I've used on vans before. The thing I like about these, you've got your light switches, it tells you your battery voltage. You've got a cigarette socket which would be good for my fridge and two USB charging sockets. And on the back it's all pre-wired with fuses so it's good to go. So you don't need like a separate fuse board, just a easier install. And I've also got these two lights that I like to install. Because when we're camping in the back, we need some lights, we need somewhere to charge the phones. Now, the trouble is with my setup, at the minute I've got this seat sort of stuck in the middle of the van. I'm pretty much limited to what I've got in terms of where I can place it. I've got that box there, which is part of the bed base. So again, we're pretty limited. Now, connecting the battery, last time I done one of these, battery's just under the air box there. Uh, that was the aerial. That's the lead for the aerial that goes into the bulkhead, but this one's broken. I don't use the radio anyway, so I might pull that cable out, use that to go into the bulkhead. Come down under the dashboard. We'll run down the side there, go around this trim. Then we'll come across the back here. As long as I've got it tucked away at the minute, I'm not too fussed because this is all going to get ripped out again at some point. And then the leisure battery, I'd like it more under there, the little gap between the chair and the wall tucked out the way. Um, split charge reload like in that position as well. Ideally I don't want anything around that area where it is now so hopefully I can get it further back. Again I'm limited this is a five meter kit so sh if I can go further back I will um, because I've got this little table when we was camping that I stick there which is handy for making drinks and putting cups on and things so hopefully I can get it tucked out of the way but if not it's not a big deal I can box it in but we'll see how we go I'm gonna crack on with this I'm not gonna do a um, bit by bit how to install it sort of thing I'll, I'll fill it all and I'll show you how I did it um, also this control panel I'm thinking maybe over that side somewhere I'll put it into that bit of plywood just so it's easy access so you can sit in the back and just flick all the switches but you have to see how much cavity we've got behind that panel because I don't want any of these wires on the back of this touching the side panel of the van so it's a bit of trial and error on this one the lights if I've got enough cable which I think I have for now I want one just on that lip there facing down one should be enough for now but We'll see, I may stick another one up here somewhere. See how bright they are, from memory they wear pretty bright lights. I may stick one up there actually. Maybe one there, maybe one there and one up there. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna crack on with this, scratch my head for a little bit, see where I'm going, have a coffee and then we'll, uh, we'll crack on. All right, so we've got the ledger battery and the split charge relay all wired up and the red lights on the split charge relay so just measured the voltage on that battery it's 12.4 volts okay, so I did move this pollen filter box just to make access a bit easier so we've got a live from the battery which loops around up to there 
into a fuse so I've got an eighty amp fuse in there so then it goes back into the bulkhead again I took that aerial out because I don't really use it I've still got the old bit there so we've come from there and it come just behind the dashboard so there's a little clip just there you use with a flat screwdriver undo that and I've fed the cable down there pull this step out we run under there come out the back we went under there all the way across just see a little bit there where it runs behind the the side panel in I will sort that out at a later date and then she come out in that corner loops around into there into the split charge relay then from the split charge relay we loop around into a, another 80 amp fuse and then from the 80 amp fuse to the live on the leisure battery the ground from the leisure battery and the split charge relay I found a little hole just behind there on the frame so I scratched away the paint and put a little nut and bolt for the frame. I'll put a picture up now. So she's all grounded out. I don't like the look of that. Just need to tidy this wiring up a bit more. At the minute, this is more of a temporary fix. I am gonna probably take this back out again and redo it, but for now, this is probably the best place for me. So when the chairs are up, you won't really see it. I will box it in. This is the bed base that I was talking about just there. So when the bed's made up, this chair folds back over, not touching that, so we're good. I'm going to build a little frame around the side of it, all the way around, just so it's secured to the floor. So the next thing I'm going to do is start the van up. I did just start the van up just to make sure the battery is alright on the start battery. So we'll start it up, we should get a light. So with the engine running, we're getting 14.2 volts, We've got the red light on the split charge relay so the leisure battery is charging up which is uh i would call that a win we've got the leisure battery in we've got the split charge relay in i'm just going to quickly build a frame around this just to keep it in place um, i'm running out of time so i'll leave the lights and the control panel for another video so if you want to watch that make sure you stay tuned for further videos if you enjoyed today's video fitting the split charge relay leisure battery if you found it helpful Please give the video a thumbs up. Whenever you're wiring these up, make sure you always put the fuses in last just to make sure you don't electrocute yourself or cause a fire. So yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Also follow me on Instagram, Rob's Adventures 79 And I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.